Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day nine. Wow. Um, for those of you that celebrate, happy Easter. For those of you that don't, have a great day. Um, well, all of you have a great day. Jeez, what am I? It's it's fine. We don't need to analyze everything. So yesterday was, I thought I'd uh, first off show you how the month is looking. Beautiful. Um, yesterday was Common Loon Black by Andorillium. Here's that dried splat. You can see maybe that it has some sheen going on in the really heavy areas. Mm, that doesn't show up in the writing. I mean, maybe if you had like a dip nib, but <clears throat> otherwise it didn't. And then I thought I would show you a little flip through of my progress here. This I think is where it started. So, I'm doing one page front and back with each ink because pages aren't very long. So Ralph Waldo, this is Pebblestone. You can actually see Pebblestone's pretty readable, especially on the second page when I um, prime to feed more. Yoey. Moon River. I had to keep priming this. You can see, like, it doesn't, it wants to hide. Uh, Amamo Yoi. This one was, again, legible. Aubergine. I'm going to point out how light it gets. So this, I primed it. No, this was, I took a break. This was the start of the day. Um, this was the end of the writing. White Rabbit. It gets to be almost too faint to read. And common loon black. So, all in all, I will point out that White Rabbit is especially bad on the Huanichi paper. My nightly journaling is in Hobonichi, and this month's color grid is um, sort of an orangey color. It is, it's a horrible combination. So not that the ink itself is bad, but the combination certainly is suboptimal. But, come on, that's old business. Let's take a sip of tea and move on to new business of choosing an ink for today. Mm, tea. It's very hot. I'll put that aside. This aside. Pick a card, any, everyone. Any card. I don't, they don't want to, my hands don't want to make them go backwards. <gasps> Ooh, my plants are getting some new leaves and new places. Oh, this right in here. This lot wants to stay together and I, that to that I say no. No, no. Ooh. Hey, this is a market change. So we got, we're in goal, Pride and Prejudice. Let's find that one. So with luck, I'm seeing my mom today and dad. Um, we'll see. I'm hoping for good weather. Mom always tries to cook me something that I will love. Frequently, it's chicken wings and fries because mom knows me. Well, let's see here. Oh, oh. Okay, this one's possible. It's not really the same color of pink, but neither is this. Let's continue our journey. Mm-hmm. I see. 
This is definitely not the same color either in a way that I don't like. Like that, I don't like. That's jarring. Could do it in... Here. Or do we like the Lamy? Do we want this in a broad nib? I mean, they were both broad nibs. True. Let's do it. It's kind of match. Let's close enough match. So my Lamy All Star in Vibrant Pink, which I got somewhat recently. This has, okay, it's my Marie, you don't feel good now. Um, this has that other converter I was talking about before. Oh, look, I see pink. So, probably be a little contaminated, but who cares? Oh, that's neat. It's sticking to the vial, but not to the letters. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh! Some happy little ink came out. That was pulling up ink, just for the record. You can see it in the feed. I think none is getting in the converter. Is that accurate? No, we got some in there. Probably enough. Maybe. We can add a little more. Oh yeah, we're doing, we're doing great work. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Don't try and hurry, Maria. It didn't go well for you, but a beautiful color. Now my ther thermometer, my syringe is ready for the splat. Morning, folks. <laughs> Playing with ink. A little water there for Amanda. <laughs> Amanda didn't ask me to or anything, but she's doing water stuff. 
So that's dedicated to her. So this is um, Wrangle Pride and Prejudice Rami All Star Vibrant Pink B. I didn't do, look at how many of these I missed. Oh no, it's just this one I missed to swipe. I have the pin here. This, by the way, is medium. Let me write that down. Okay. We gotta get going in here, but first to pause. Thirty days. April twenty twenty three. Day nine. Easter. I want to say, if you observe Lent, I hope that your Lenten journey went well for you. I didn't do fantastic. Yeah, my plants are really, like, growing. Sorry, we it was somewhere else right then. Ink. I feel like I just wrote this. Here's a question. Have you read Pride and Prejudice? If you have, do you have a favorite character? If you haven't read it, have you seen the version with Colin Firth? Um, and... Why is he your favorite? It's funny that this is the AL star when aluminum symbol is capital is capital A lowercase L. And I'm assuming that's why it's AL for aluminum or aluminium. Mommy, you're so you're just always good. Hopefully that was in shot, but if not, well, these things happen. Okay, splat. I just let it go. I didn't think. It was like, poo. Oh, man. Did you see the uh, Amanda B video where she... She splatted so hard she broke her syringe. Check it out. I think that was day six. Could be wrong. It's fine. I got, there's ink on the table and I don't care. Cause this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So here's this dried, mostly. And I don't know if you can see the gold halo, which is coming up in the writing. This is very much um, like besties with uh, Tsutsuji, in my opinion. Let's see if we can find that for you.
or maybe it's like besties maybe it's like yeah it's besties with tsutsuji and yamabudo right yeah the, though the gold sheen of these did not come through i should redo this one let's just slowly redo our cards anyway can't wait to write with this i'm thinking it's gonna be a fine writing experience it doesn't feel like it's one of those super sheeners and thus sort of dry for that reason it's certainly not one of the watery dry inks so perhaps this will be this is like the short break from the theme of water masquerading as ink no i kid been some lovely inks. There we go. Let's put our little little flat lay because I think YouTube likes a flat lay. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, answer those questions about Pride and, Pride and Prejudice. Um, all right. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Easter again if you celebrate. Uh, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!